The following is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion advised. Because I come in when I want. You got a warrant, open up the door. You got three seconds. One. Supposed to move in there in a I have the emergency maintenance number, I think. Give me one second. I'm going to get my file. I'm going to close this so my cat doesn't run yes, out. Thank you. Yeah, there's also a, a lease office number outside the building if we had to. Though, yes, we have the legal right to uh, force entry into, into this apartment. But if you don't have to, why? So we called the property manager, explained the situation, what's going on. They have a fugitive that's squatting in multiple units. Um, turns out he's, you know, actually selling drugs through this entire apartment building. So um, with the cooperation with the manager, they're going to come open up some of the uh, vacant apartments and let us search. Yes, I mean, I go up there every day by, okay. for do you, work. Do you but know, I uh, do you come to this building often? Do, are you kind of familiar with faces? Yeah, are you at 2115 Collingwood? Yeah, so we're looking for George the Hayes. Avenue. Yeah, we're looking for George Hayes. Black guy, bald head, big lips. Look, kind of deform, uh, deform ear. Uh, um, I can't. I mean, I can't think without really seeing. I'll I can text um, you a picture. Let me text you. A picture. Text me a picture. Yeah, text me a picture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text you. While I'm on the phone with you. Hold on one second. Okay. It's coming from a different line. Yeah, I heard it. Hold on. Oh. 
doesn't really look familiar. Is he? You said he's staying at that property somewhere. Yeah, it's either one twelve or one thirteen. Um, so, he's, he's been seen in both of them. Squatting. Okay. Yeah, because one twelve and one thirteen are both empty vacant units. Gotcha. Well, yeah, he's been squatting in, in, in either one okay. or both of them. So, yeah, we don't want okay. to damage the property. We're just trying to see if we can get in there. Just kind of see if someone is squatting in there. That way we can, you know, kind of. Um, Okay, let me, um, uh, you're there right now waiting. Yeah, I'm here. I'm I here. Call for? Yep, okay. we're here now. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let me, uh, let me give him a call real quick and then do you want me to call you on this number or text you, what you from what you texted me? Yep, you can just, just shoot me you a text. Yes, okay. Sir. Yep. I'll call him right now. Thank you. Yep. So this motherfucker is breaking in the vacant apartment. I mean, squatting. so he gives 112 on the uh, on the docket and 113 on the app. On the app. And he's just floating he's in just both of them. floating in. He's and staying I, wherever. who knows however many other yeah. ones. I mean, he could be here just in a different apartment right now. Yeah. I'm going to ask the maintenance guy which other ones are fucking vacant here. We're going to go search all of them. That's fucking crazy, yo. Wherever. I mean, I'm sure he does squat here, but I'm guessing it's not the only place. He got. He got. He used the key. Mm -hmm. Is it on the second floor? Maintenance. It's maintenance. Where's George? Mm -hmm. I know it's funny they directed us here. Okay. Some people did. No, I can't hear you come up. Mind if we come in and chart and check? Okay, so you know him. I didn't know who he was. Okay, so let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Come on in. Because you, you seen us looking for him, but you didn't decide to disclose anything.
But look, I don't want to hem you up in any trouble. He has a warrant, which means if you're caught with him, you can get in trouble too. So what I could do is make this super, close the door, PK. So nobody hears. We're not trying to jam you up. We won't even tell him you told us, but we need to find him or you can get in trouble. So please help us and we can leave you alone. We can slide you a couple of dollars. Make it, you know, make it work you out. Um, what did he do? To be honest, I, I don't know. I just met Well, I'm gonna be honest, it don't matter what he did. He yeah. skipped by and, you know, we're on the line for this. So we gotta find him or we out money. So you guys have a number just in case you yeah. can back in. Yeah, you got yeah. You, how often is he here? I just met him within the last couple of days. Okay, so what, what, was it like, a, is that all his clothes? No, that's all my shit, it's all laundry. Okay, when the last time you, he was here? Earlier today. Earlier today? Is he coming back? I, he met, so okay. I'm not sure. Is he driving? Not that I'm Okay, um, do you know where he went this morning? No. Okay, um, what's, what's your relationship? Is he staying with you, kind of kicking it with like? No, he's just kind of kicking it. He's kind of kicking it. Oh, y'all kicking it. AKA we fucking This episode is sponsored by Relentless Pursuit Nutrition. Be relentless in your nutrition and be relentless in your lifestyle. Please come to our store. We're doing a season five special promotion right now at checkout. Type in season five for a discount. Uh, I'm on a chase. Uh, I'm on a chase. Uh, I'm on a chase. I'm on a chase. Uh, yeah. No, he's just kind of kicking it. I'm trying to kick it. Not like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we know what you mean. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> As you spent the night, yeah. I'm not, you're yeah, not in trouble. You're not in trouble. Just keep it real with me. Night. You spent the night last night. Yeah. So he doesn't have anywhere else to live, stay, does he? I don't. Know. He's homeless. I mean, he is homeless. I have no clue. Okay. Like I said, I just met him like within the last. Okay. Week. How many nights has he spent the night? Like two, once a night. And you've known him for about two days. Yeah. So he spent the night. So he's probably gonna come back and probably spend the night again. Okay. All right. Um, what do you guys want me to do? All I want you to do. Where your cell phone? Matter. I'm gonna give you my direct cell phone number. Shoot me a text now so I got your number. Now what we want you to do is, when he comes back, shoot me a text. Get the fuck out of here. Saying that, he he said, said that shit. Yeah, I just read the text. He said, yeah, he said that's her, his girl. She's saying, check the basement. He's saying, this is the parking garage. All they're doing is trapping in and out of here. So, so I told, the basement I told the yeah, room? I told Mud Hands, he said, we don't, you can't have that conversation out here. He's, I said, but if you lead this to him, I'm sure the boss will take care of you. He said, I ain't looking for a lot. I'm like, that's cool. Right. But if we find him nice. Right. So yeah, she's saying okay. the basement, he can get us in the basement. And he said they trapped between the building and over here. I guess this is the parking lot. Well, he can get us in both of them. The owner said he's going to take us to the basement. I got it. Parkwood Apartments. He's saying he's trapped between here and Parkwood Apartments. I guess that's across the way. That's how they know him. All right, say that again, bro. What's, he's trapped between where? Here? He, man, they, they, yeah, they said nobody here. He's at Parkwood Apartments. His granny and auntie live right over here down Prescott. That first street, there's two, only two houses on the corner. That's where his granny and auntie's at. Uh -huh. um, there is granny lives next door. His aunt stays on the corner. What about his, uh, his sister? Is it over there? His sister? Uh, is it on Bancroft? It's right there. You know, if you go down Prescott, the first street, you take a left. You're going towards the Sunoco. There's only one way. It's, it's, you can only go that way. Mm -hmm. And then there are two houses. The only two houses on the block. The corner house and the next house. All the other ones tore down. Okay. They're raggedy-ass houses. But that is uh, aunt and his granny. You know the name of the street by chance? Is the it first Sherman? street down Prescott. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know it. First I, street down Prescott. I stay with my brother, so this ain't... Right Horton. here? Horton? Horton. Yeah, the, the one that the, uh, you got other buildings on, on the corner. Horton. On Bank Horton. Horton. That street. And then the park was... Apartment right behind you. said Hortman? Horton. H O R T O N. -O -N. <coughs> and then the other one, Parkside Apartments? No, Parkwood is behind us. There's a big building back there. You know where that apartments he would be? I, 
I don't go over there. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Just like him, the police was sitting out front of the mark car, and he pulled his ID out. He said, yep. I know they're coming because they look exactly like what his uncle has got a beard like you, a uh -huh. beard, and he wears a hat all the time. Okay, gotcha. Shorty Bob and that Shorty G. All right. George Haley. So I knew y'all was looking for it. He bounced out the front. Yeah, he ran. He bounced out, out the front. front contact her. She went and got She it. ran around and just picked him Let's up. Let's go check uh, her house. She might have went back to her house. Hell yeah. Hey, white car. No, I don't know no, if that car was, was raggedy. Nice. Her car was raggedy. Yeah, yeah, her car looked raggedy. We can go back and check the footage. I bet we'll be able to tell exactly what kind of car it is. Yeah, I think this. I think these are the two houses. That's what I'm thinking too. It's them two or these two. I'm thinking these two because he said they was raggedy as shit and they was the only houses. Watch dog shit in the grass. I know, we're looking for down. Um, the person next door, did they drive a white car? You've never seen them at all? You said what? You've never seen them at all? You've never seen them? You don't know what type of car they drive? What the fuck is going on? Good evening, sir. Sorry to bother you. Is there ever a white car in that driveway with a young lady with pink hair, maybe sometimes red? White lady? Okay. You, not no white car? All right. Everybody got a dog around here. Yeah, that's like the fucking burglar alarm. <laughs> Yeah, they're just out driving around in a fucking car, mm -hmm. and the ant's gonna get pissed. Report it. So let's hope she reports the fucking thing stolen. So you let her use the car. Mm-hmm. Because she was supposed to get her stuff from the apartment because they're getting kicked out. Okay, her, her and George. Her, her and her daughter. Okay. I don't know if George was staying there or not. Okay. I knew his uncle had a place, but his uncle went active duty, so he no longer has that place. That's 113. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, over there on Conway. So what, what apartment were they staying in? That I can't tell you. She wouldn't tell us. She wouldn't tell there. us exactly where. Okay. It was supposedly his aunt, but I don't know if it's a blood aunt or like he calls me his sister. Okay. I couldn't tell. Okay, so um, when, was she hey! was she been supposed to bring back the car? Yes. 
Have you talked to her? Not since she took the car. Have you tried to uh, contact her? I've called her like four times on the number she gave me and there's no answer. Okay. Are you going to report the car stolen? If it's not back pretty soon, yes, because I need to get to work tomorrow. What time do you think you're going to give her until you report it stolen? That I'm not sure. Okay. Because I know if she does go over to the house to get her stuff, it's going to take her a minute to get everything thrown in garbage bags and into the car. Okay. So she's getting put out the apartment complex. No, oh, no, she's getting put out to the, the house. The duplex okay. over there. Okay, right. she's getting put out to the duplex. 614 or whatever. That's the one. Okay. 614 East Park. Ah, okay. So she's getting put out of there. She's supposedly staying with Georgia, his aunt's house, but I have no clue where that is. You know her aunt's name? She wouldn't say. She's trying to cover her bases not to get caught, so I have very little information. Gotcha. We, we literally just ran into her. And we didn't know who she was. Oh. She was in, she was in your vehicle. White Father. Dodge Dart. Yeah. Yeah, that was her. Uh, she still got the purple hair, right? Pink or whatever. Pink, Pink. whatever. Lavenderish, brightish. No. No. What color is your hair then? Brown. So somebody else is driving my car. It's entirely possible. That chick had pink hair. She does not have pink hair unless she just did it. Because when she was over here earlier, she had brown hair. Then that ain't, I don't think that's who you talked to. Yeah, it might be somebody. Well, no, they said that was who. No, no, no. The one in the, well, the one in the car had pink hair, right? I, I don't remember if she had pink hair, but she, let me ask you this. Is this? He, he said, hair. he said, no, no. in the car okay what number do you have for her i have to run inside and grab my phone i know it's a 419262 okay. but i don't know the last four okay could you get that for me yeah <laughs> she had very light hair so it could have been she, well she had a hair band on it was like up yeah, so I didn't really see her hair because it was kind of I maybe the band was purple, maybe, but I thought that yeah, was yeah. her hair. Cause what maybe the hair scarf was pink or purple. Yeah, the, it might have been the scarf, but she had a scarf on and kind of had her hair up. Okay. They might have just because I the same only thing seen too. her from about ten yards away. I mean, Ours. you went up and talked to her, but I seen her. She wasn't happy. I mean, she wouldn't roll down her window. That was what. And that's what I'm saying. She roll wouldn't roll the window down, and I thought, and well, then she hurry up and said, no, I don't know him. Um, is this normal for her to disappear? The, car? the last time she used my car, her G brought her back early in the morning, mid afternoon, mid morning, because I had to be to work at 12, and she went, got drunk, passed out in the car. Hmm. Do they got certain spots for in Georgia to hang out? No, I don't really hang know. with them at all because okay. I'm not into the drugs and alcohol. Okay. So I, I couldn't tell you. Okay. Let me ask, do you know any. If you had to find her emergency, would, would it just be I calling? Couldn't. Yeah, all I have is a phone number. Okay, does she have like anybody else she close with that you talk to maybe? Not that she's talking to. Her friend Rhonda has called me, but she's calling me looking, looking for, for her. Okay, so they kind of both. Okay, yeah. right. okay I got you. Okay, um, well, I'm already talking to you, so um, I didn't know that this was your house. No, that's okay. You said you would pop up. <laughs> yeah, but after I talked to you, I, I, I tell you what's the line, so... No, All right, well, as no soon as she comes back, like I said, just shoot me a text or give me a call. I gave you my number, right? Yeah, I'll you, call you. You called me because okay. I got you Frank the Bounty Hunter. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome. Sorry to bother you. We're headed back to Mr. Ball's house. Um, it's a little later in the evening. He may have come back or he may be there right now. Um, he may think that we're gone for the night because we are from out of town. So we're gonna go back and hopefully surprise him or figure out that he's come back.
Hmm? Put everything back to normal. Don't be fucking with the switches, man. Don't be fucking with the switches, man. Don't be fucking with the switches, man.